YouTube, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day it is, you guys are watching this video, track slap it back at y'all with another one. Thank you for tuning in to 808 and Kicks. So I wanted to make this video a lot earlier, but I was busy at work today, so you know how that go, you know? Gotta work, gotta get things done, but yeah, I'm making a video after work. Those of y'all watching this video might be watching as well after today, but it's all good. But today has been a very interesting day today. Um, to start things off, we had the Satin Bread ones officially released today. Um, these were a widely available shoe. These released on Nike. Uh, I want to say uh, Finish, Line, Finish Line did exclusive access on these for store pickup, for ship to me. It was a lot of ways that you can get this shoe. More ways than one. Um, if you didn't get a pair of these and you wanted a pair, that's because you slept. I really feel like it was easy, easy, easy peasy to get you a pair of these shoes. Like, for real, for real, y'all. Like, there's no way in Lord knows. There's no way you couldn't get a pair of these. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, they didn't even sell out quick on Nike. Um, sizes eventually did start selling out. Um, let me pull up Nike right quick and see. Bam. So... There's not even that many pairs left. As y'all see, it's only like a, a men's 10, women's 11 and a half left. So them bad boys was moving. They didn't move like, bam, like quick like that, but they was moving. So I originally got this pair that I got on the shock drop but not, uh, from, from the sneakers app. And I wasn't sure if you hit on the shock drop, if you could try to double up and go for another pair of these again on the initial release day. But of course, it's showing me that if I wanted to, I could purchase that size 10. So yeah, you could you could have doubled up if you wanted to. Me personally, I got this pair back when they did the shock drop. I was okay with that. So again, guys, if you guys wanted a pair of these, these were easy to get. You know, they wasn't limited, you know, like other pairs of satin Jordan ones have been were limited in previous releases. Next up we had released today was the Nike SB Sweet Tooth. Some people are referring to them as the, the candy corns. Um, it was crazy how they did that. It, so it was a snatch, it was not snatch off. <laughs> it was a scratch off that they did. So when it, when it, when it popped up on the sneakers app, you know, scroll down image at the bottom, you scratch off phone. And init, initially when it did pop up, it was a lot of people that was trying to get in there and scratch off, you know, the image so they can purchase the, the shoe. And for like a good, I want to say maybe 10 minutes it was it was not it was not letting a lot of people win that like he was letting you click on the image but whenever you try to scratch it wasn't doing nothing so you had for me i had to keep closing out the the sneakers app reopen it closing it reopen it until finally it let me in and i was able to scratch it so i was thinking dang you know i know a lot of people wasn't fans of the shoe but it was also a lot of people that were fans of the shoe and i was thinking to myself damn if i'm not able to get in there am i still gonna be able to cop but sure enough, I got in there, I secured me a dub. Um, me personally, I like the, the Halloween themed sneakers. I, I, I don't have a lot of them, I have a handful of them. So I was actually happy to get a pair of those to add to the collection. Definitely, definitely gonna be excited to see those in hand, the detail on them, that's what got me. I love the detail that, that they put into them. You know, it's a little Halloween shoe, you know? You can't wear it all year round, of course. I mean, you could if you want to, but me personally, I would rather just wear it during the month of October and stuff, you know, getting the Halloween theme of things and stuff. So definitely, definitely, definitely appreciative of the fact that I was able to secure me a pair. And yeah, we'll be waiting on those bad boys to come in the mail soon too. Next up, I want to talk to y'all lastly about what we got going on tomorrow. So they're doing exclusive access for the reimagined Jordan 1 Royals. Um, those of you guys that don't know, those are the Jordan 1s that look like the, um, actually I'll pull them out. Those are the Jordan ones that look like these. These are the OG Royals. So the reimagine is gonna have the suede and the new buck and stuff all around the shoe. And uh, they're doing exclusive access on that. Uh, yeah, me personally, um, I'm just gonna say good luck to all you guys in advance. Cause the details that they have on this exclusive access, not everybody's gonna get it. I'm gonna just say that now, you know, Sometimes when exclusive access is given out, it's limited, but I feel like this exclusive access is going to be extremely limited, but who knows? You never know. All right, so I'm going to just read over things, and 
I'm just gonna read over it and basically give y'all the lowdown. If you guys haven't opened up the sneakers app, it says to prioritize our most loyal Jordan members, the Air Jordan 1 Reimagined will be released via exclusive access in full family sizing on the sneakers app. Understanding exclusive access for the Air Jordan 1 Reimagined, exclusive access will provide a limited number of sneakers members the opportunity to purchase the Air Jordan 1 Royal Reimagined. Only members who took an L on both of the two following past Jordan Reimagines, Air Jordan 3, White Cement, and Air Jordan 1 High OG Patent Bread will be eligible for selection. However, not every member who meets this criteria will necessarily be selected. Pairs are limited at fast. Exclusive assets do not guarantee general availability or availability in your preferred sizes. <sighs> Basically, guys, I'm gonna say this. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, a lot of exclusive assets in the past for past sneakers on the sneakers app, it's been a bit funky. That's all. That's the best way I can put it, guys. It's been a bit funky, and you know, if you get it, if you want the sneaker, go ahead get it. If you don't want the sneaker and you get it, hey, that's still you know a blessing. That's still you know great. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get it because I want to say I think I I hit on. I hit on one of those in the past, but either way it go guys, like pretty much basically, you know, I already got me a pair of the reimagined Royals coming in. I, 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 I purchased, I put, I put a purchase down, you know, um, uh, was it last, last night, two nights ago. So hopefully I get them early. If I don't get them early, at least I know I got a pair secured coming in the mail to me that I can, you know, look at in hand see how i like see how i like it you know compare you know the they're not going to be the ogs like these but i want to see them side by side for my own understanding and, and make my final decision if i want to keep them or not or so on so forth but that that's just me i didn't pay a a, a, a mad mad amount of money um i got them off of sneakers not the sneakers app it's actual app called sneakers you know that i used to rock with that i still rock with and sure enough they sent me an email the other day and i was like hey i can get if i can copy a pair through them i'm gonna do that um there will be a general release on these i want to say hold up let me see i want to say yeah uh, November 4th is when they'll be re releasing for those of you guys who actually really want to try for a pair All I'm gonna say is good luck. Don't stress over it. Take the exclusive access Grain of salt. That's all I'm gonna say because you never know what what Nike got up their sleeve and Nike could be just putting that information out there to make pairs sell a lot more than what they would originally sell if they just had it as a regular shot drop or something like that. You never know, you know? If I'm a company, I'm gonna do what I can to make sure that I, my products are still selling somehow, some way. But all I'm gonna say is good luck to you guys. Um, just wanted to chit chat with you guys about to, the, the today's events. They also We also had the Cactus Plant Flea Market shoe come out. I wasn't feeling that. I know that was something that resellers were licking their chops on that, you know, they wanted. But if you guys secure a pair of those, good luck to you, you know, salute you. Because, you know, not everybody got a dub, you know. But other than that, we're going to see how the exclusive assets go tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to be looking forward to getting those SBs in the, in, in the mail. And um, we'll see how that go, you know. Other than that, I'm going to check you guys very soon on the next one. Stay blessed, stay fresh. Love your loved ones like us know tomorrow. Until then, I'm going to see you guys very soon on the next one. Peace.